to the pig room you guys or welcome to the pig room if you are new here so if you can kind of tell we have something a little bit more different going on than what i've usually done here on this channel i am going to be filming a real-time gopro cleaning video you guys are currently attached to my head feels kind of weird because i'm like talking into the great abyss but yeah let's go ahead and give this a try i've been a huge fan of this kind of content for a long time so i'm really excited to go ahead and try it out for myself i think i'm actually going to turn this off because it's probably a little bit too loud for filming that might be a lot better all right so we're gonna go ahead and start off on this cage right here hello winston hi my buddy he's doing so well with his new friends honestly this was probably the easiest bonding that i have ever done when it comes to doing a male with females he did so well with them and bonded with them straight away which made me really happy to see again guys if you missed my last video he was picking on caroline as soon as i moved them into the cage like really really bad worse than it's ever been and now, as you can tell, she's living peacefully and doing awesome, and she's also taking over her throne again, so she's now the queen again, which makes me very happy to know, my queen, my queen Caroline, you're all back. So their cage has a lot going on, and the reason for that is because, for some reason, they are so messy. I don't know what it is, but they pee and poop so much, so I have to do, like, lots of pig mats, liners, like, you guys can see. There's an entire mess going on. It's kind of making me a little bit stressed out. I did actually recently work on some new liners, which are right here. So I'm very excited to go ahead and use those. So let's go ahead and get started. So I just have my big old trash can right there, which actually has the old light to what was once up there. We did recently install recessed lighting in here, as you guys can tell. And also I got these wireless like lighting sconces, I think that's what you want to say. Just to give them a little bit more light, especially when I'm filming in here, and they definitely do a great job at that. But yeah, I just have two over there and then three on this wall. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and set that down. I have my empty hamper right there, which I'm actually going to put off to the side. So the first thing I like to do is to just go ahead and remove all of their items from their cage. I just find that tends to be a little bit easier for me. And this is some pellets that they did not finish. All right, we'll go ahead and take out some of their tunnels. Beautiful. And also their pig room toys. All right, so what I like to do is just go ahead and shake off their items to get off any poop or hay or any hair that I can. And then we'll just go ahead and scoop this up and then dump it into the trash. I actually recently started to make two by three fleece liners and I really love them because they're so easy to just pick up, dump off, wipe, and throw into the washer. So I'm very happy with this size. Um, honestly, it's, it's not the most practical when it comes to having like three grid wide cages because I have to use like two or three of these to fill them up, but I really do like them because for this purpose and then being so messy, I can just take it out, put a new one in, and it's just super simple. You girls are just running around. <laughs> As you guys can tell, Ariel and Fifi are doing amazing. Their hair growth and their entire transformation has been like amazing. Honestly, the best rescue I've ever done. It's been crazy to see them just improve every day. But yeah, they're back to being super healthy and normal piggies, which makes me so happy to know and to see. Go ahead and shake this off. Uh, if you guys actually did not see the rescue video um, for Ariel and Fifi and their other other piggies with them, uh, make sure to go ahead and check that out. That was definitely one of the most emotional rescue videos that I've done, honestly, in my life. Um, I've never really came in contact with a guinea pig that looked as bad as Ariel did. It was a roller coaster of emotion. It really was. Um, so yeah, make sure to go ahead and check that out if you haven't already. Of course the piggies want to munch down on hay when I need to pick this up. Can I move you, Missy? Huh? Thank you. All right, so... <laughs> Ariel, I gotta get in here. I'm sorry. You guys gotta go to that side. Can we go to that side? Go to that side of the cage. There we go, there we go, there we go, go, go. Good job, guys. <laughs> you know, sometimes you gotta give the piggies a little, a little bit of a push to get them moving. That's okay. All right, so I'm just gonna take my absorbent mat and just go ahead and dump that into the trash can. <laughs> you guys hungry? 
they're very hungry right now. I know they're anticipating their pellets. Um, so I actually never used to have like that big of a trash can before. I used to use like these really small ones um, or just have like just trash bags out and about. And this has honestly made my life so much easier when it's come to cleaning. Like it's night and day, seriously. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up this. As you guys can tell, there's just so many layers to <laughs> their cage. And that's honestly just because they pee and poop so much that I honestly need as much absorption as I can possibly get. Let's go over here, Missy. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and move this over. And I love to use my shop vac. This is the best thing ever. I have tried in the past using like the handheld vacuums, but nothing compares to this. It just does a way better job than any handheld vacuum can do. So I really do prefer this just to get up their hay and stuff. go and as you guys can tell it gets it done really really fast which I love all righty we'll just get our vinegar and water solution and then our paper towels do not worry this is not Windex it is just an empty bottle that I had refilled okay so let's go ahead and put this right there and of course the piggies are gonna want to we got a little hay on you missy <laughs> can I get it off there we go They love coming to the unfinished side when I'm cleaning. All right, so we'll spray this down and give this a good wipe. I have to end up cleaning their cage maybe like once or twice a week. Again, just because they do pee and poop so much. I don't know what it is. Like, I feel like they're skinny pigs on the inside. Like they poop to that extent. It gets crazy. Um, so I really do have to make sure that I'm keeping up with their spot cleaning and stuff like that. I do want to actually extend their cage to be a little bit larger because initially I only had plans of Ariel and Fifi being in here, but with Winston being a little bully, um, I did have to bond him with them. So they're living in this cage, which is a three by five. And you know, it does provide them each with five square feet, but you guys can tell uh, Ariel and Fifi are <laughs> rather large. So I would like to have something a little bit bigger. So definitely expect to see a, a little bit of a cage extension um, in the near future for sure. I like to get them to like a three by three by six or a three by seven. I feel like that will be a, a good size. All right, so we'll just wipe this all down. Uh, with females, I do notice that they like to honestly like projectile <laughs> their pee, like get it all, get it everywhere, um, especially on the walls. So it's really important that you're wiping down the walls and getting any urine that was on them. All right, much better. So I actually made these liners yesterday and they're also already wicked and we have a matching set. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually use these. Put that one right there. All right, excuse me. Excuse me guys. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Their little feet taps on the chloroplast is so cute. All right, so this is a three by four fleece liner. So this will be just shy of being a three by five. So I'll just fill in the rest with that smaller liner that I made. Oh, did Ariel go under here? She did. Excuse me, Missy. I just realized she's also gonna look like really beautiful with this color liner. Cause it like matches her, her brown auburn fur like perfectly. Look, you gotta go in the liner. There you go. Good girl. All right. And I do make these a little bit bigger than like an actual three by three by four, just to account for any shrinkage that may occur. So it's just a little bit over a three by four. All right. So that is all laid down. And then this is when this comes into play. This is a two by three. So I will just go ahead and lay that to fill in this missing area right here, just like so. 
There we go. Um, if you guys do notice Fifi sneezing, do not worry. Um, she doesn't have any respiratory issues going on. Given her past, um, you know, with living with so many piggies in a really confined area and also living on a farm where it is incredibly dusty, um, she does have a little bit, she does go through a little bit more issues with her respiratory system, but nonetheless, it is clear. I've gotten her checked out multiple times by my vet and she is healthy nonetheless, but she does sneeze quite often. So it's just something that we have to deal with. Um, if it does obviously get any worse, or if I do notice any drastic changes, I will go ahead and take her to the vet. But my vet has no concern, so she's all good and healthy, as you guys can see. Oh my god, I'm so happy with the liners. It looks so good. All right, so now's when I have to figure out what I want to add into their cage. Hmm. Well, so, oh my god, everything matches. That's perfect. Okay, I need like a brown, brownish pig mat. We'll do this one right here. Okay, so I think I want to do the same layout as I did how it was before. So we'll do that there. We'll do their corner house right there. Put their toys in. Let's see if I have any more brown or like earthy tone pig mats. Maybe a yellow wax. Uh, do I want to do yellow? Now let's do, let's do this gray color. That might look nice. I like things that are more on the natural side in regards to like color. Like this is definitely my vibe of cage if I wanted to be a pig. And then we'll put this right there. Do I like that? I don't like that. <laughs> it's sometimes like trial and error with like figuring out where you want things in your cage. And I'll get the other gray pig mat and we'll put this where their hay is going to go. Beautiful. Oh my god, it looks so good. I love when everything's just like matching. It's so pleasing to the eye. All right. Um, where am I walking? Over here. All right, so these, these are the pellets from last night. So I'm going to go ahead and just empty those out. We also need to wipe this down because it's looking a little bit dirty. Didn't need that much paper towel. Winston's very happy with his cage change, I can tell. Do you guys like everything? It's all new, it smells fresh, right? It smells like no other piggy. <laughs> I love the way the cages look in um, the first like couple minutes, but give it a couple minutes and uh, they'll get dirty again. There's lots of poops and stuff, but they are pigs after all, so they're gonna dirty what was once clean. That's just how it is with owning guinea pigs, unfortunately. But I do like cleaning their cages. It's like very therapeutic for me. I really don't mind it. And also being able to like do all these cage themes and just come up with cages that look like very pretty. That's my favorite part. All right, so we'll do three scoops of their food. Of course, the other piggies are all excited for their food as well. There you go, babies. Munching down. <laughs> all right, then we'll go ahead and get some of their hay. I've recently been introducing them to Orchard Grass. This is by Small Pet Select, and they have been loving it. Typically, they'll get Timothy hay, but I've just been wanting to really give them some, uh, some variety in their, their diet, and they've been really loving this, so. This is what I'm giving them right now. So I'll just do a nice big pile for them right there. Oh my God, they look so cute. I need to actually take a photo real quick, one second. Okay, so I just went ahead and took some adorable photos of them. I had to take the opportunity because the cage looks so good. Also noticing now that the water bottle is very low, so I have to fill that up and also wash that. But let's go ahead and move on to doing my biggest cage yet, which is right over here. This is my three by 10. CNC cage for my four female piggies. Again, Winston used to live with them, but he's quite a bully, so he no longer lives with them. I'm just gonna go ahead and actually just spray this down. Um, this is their pellet dish, but I end up actually putting their veggies inside of it at night when it's completely gone, and it kind of leaves some grossness residue. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sanitize that a bit to get it nice and clean. A lot of people actually ask me where I get these from. I got these from, where did I get them from? Salvation Army, the thrift store. 
I highly recommend checking them out before you guys go to like Petco or PetSmart to find pellet dishes because they can get very expensive there for like honestly no reason. And you probably honestly wouldn't even be able to find something this big for, you know, a lot of piggies there. So definitely check out your thrift stores because they have a lot of stuff and obviously it's relatively cheap as well. All right, so that is all nice and clean. Go ahead and put that off to the side. So same dealio. What I like to do is just remove all of their items from their cage. Just makes it a whole lot easier for me to, you know, clean everything. They got some poops and stuff stuck to there, so we're gonna have to sanitize that. That goes in the hamper over there. Take out some of their toys. This is like done for, so I'm gonna toss that. All right, just take out some of their pee pads and their beds. All right, and then we'll just roll up their pig mat liner just like so. And then the same process, we're gonna go ahead and just shake that off. Get as much poop as we can get off from the get-go. And then right before it actually does go into the wash, I'll give it a nice brush down. That way I know everything's off of it. All right, girls, I gotta take your house now. Thank you very much. All right, take their super plush pig mat. I'm actually launching a version of these, which is actually mega size. So even larger than these, which I'm super excited for. Uh, those should be launching by I think next month. So get excited for that in a couple colors as well. <laughs> Kyle is under there right now. She's getting annoyed that the piggies are disrupting her. All right, so since there's not that much poop, I'm gonna go ahead and actually just roll this up. And what this does is I can obviously work on this side, but it kind of creates a barrier so the piggies can't cross here and come over while I'm cleaning. All right, so I'll go ahead and get my vacuum. Go ahead and just suck up the poop. Now, because there's a lot of females living in this cage, there is a lot of pee on these back walls. So I'm gonna make sure that I spray them down pretty religiously, even on these walls. Oof, very gross. They say that male guinea pigs are a little bit more dirty than females, but honestly, I'd have to disagree because the way that my, <laughs> my female pigs get their cage dirty, I'm like, oh my God, you guys are a mess. Look at that, all kinds of grossness. But it's like honestly satisfying. I feel like that's why I, I like cleaning cages is because like having something be dirty in the beginning and then slowly let it get cleaner and cleaner. Like I feel like that's what really like kind of itches something inside of me. And also just knowing that the piggies are gonna have a clean cage, that makes me feel really good too. All right, so that's pretty dirty. We'll get a new one. I'll wait to get those poopies till the end because I don't want to spread any poop around where it already cleaned. Okay, now I'll get those. Beautiful. <laughs> Kyle is being very vocal right now. You guys can probably hear her. Alrighty. 
much better. Alrighty, so I'm gonna put this right there for now. I'm gonna go ahead and actually lay down our absorbent mat, which is made for a three by four. For this cage in particular, especially with Caroline living here, I like to make sure that the surface is very, very plush. Honestly, as much as I can get it to be because she does have arthritis. So having a really plush surface helps out her bones. So those do a really great job at providing that plushness. Then I'll go in later and add some fleece and some pig mats, and then it will be like ultra plush. Excuse me, miss. You can't cross over yet. You got some hay in your eye. Can I get that? <laughs> no? All right, then I'll go ahead and put this one from Amazon right over. Kyle's right under here. What are you doing, Missy? You're going crazy. I can hear you from all the way across the room. So they're definitely going to need a litter box change because I'm sure it is very pea soaked. Yeah, very gross. Ugh. And I've tried doing like hay piles on top of pig mats with this group, but they are just so dirty, like I said before, that they do a lot of peeing where they're eating, so I have to use a litter box or else I have to change out the pig mats like once or twice a day. And I don't really feel like doing that, so I opt for the litter box. It's a lot easier for me. All right, so we'll go ahead and give that a good spray down as well. And I'm actually gonna let that sit for a little bit until I can wipe it. All right, girls, let's see if this will work out. There we go, we got Eris over. Caroline, you're next. Very good. Now Kyle, nice. And then Wanda. Wanda's a little bit more stubborn. Let's see if she can get over. <laughs> Slow and steady. There we go. And typically I would empty out this hay and stuff, but I'm not really filling up for that because that's like almost full. So I'm just gonna actually put it right on top of here. And I'll worry about that when I'm in my laundry room. Move this off to the side. We'll put this lid on so None of this blows out when I turn on the vacuum. Alrighty. All right, same dealio, we'll just go ahead and spray down all of their walls so we can get them nice and sanitized. It's really just the walls that get really messy, not so much the base, because it's pretty much covered for the most part. I seem to have misplaced my, oh, there they are. My paper towels. We'll just start wiping this off. I know, are you excited for your clean cage, Kyle? Yes. <laughs> it makes me so happy when they're happy that they're getting a clean cage. They're like, yay, daddy's cleaning. Cleaning our mess. But that's what parents do. You girls pee so much, I don't get it. I'm surprised it's like not up at my wall either. <laughs> because they shoot high, it's like all the way up here. But that's why having the back walls is definitely a must because if you don't have them, your walls are definitely gonna get urine on them, which you guys don't want. So if you guys are making your own chloroplast bases, definitely opt for the high walls because they make a world of a difference. 
All right, now we're gonna go ahead and just wipe this down. Now this does have stains on it that I honestly can't remove, I've tried it all. So this one right here just kind of stays there. That's all clean. Oh, I realized I didn't actually turn on my studio light right now. I'll probably do that. Just give it a little bit more lighting in here. There we go. Okay, so I need to cover that next section with an absorbent layer. So I'm just gonna get this U-Haul. And I'm just going to Fold it enough to where it will cover the bottom of the cage. <laughs> they don't leave a minute to spare. They move right on over. Alrighty. Okay, so now that all the absorbent mats are laid down, we can go ahead and lay down their fleece. So I have this gorgeous floral pattern, which is very summery, perfect for the season that we're in right now. And also perfect for the girlies. So what I like to do is just get one end, measure it up to three grids wide, go a little bit extra, find my point, and then I'll just grab it where the pattern kind of repeats so I know where to go. Alrighty, so then I'll just start laying down their fleece. Excuse me, Wanda. Now this is the hardest part because this liner or this fleece is so big. So I gotta tuck a lot, fold a lot, push everything into the corners, make sure everything is covered. But once it's all in, it looks really nice. And it's just short, about like a foot. So I'll cover that part with the litter box and then the rest with the pig mat. Right, girlies? <laughs> Having a big cage is the best too because they really are so active guinea pigs, so they run around a lot. All right, so just gotta fill in that part right there, but we will do that with a pig mat. Probably get this small one right here. And I will just put this, excuse me, excuse me, Caroline. Oh, come on girls, you can't be... Okay, now it's a party. <laughs> Let's go, come on. Gotta do it fast. And there we go. Move that over real quick. And then I need my puppy pads, which are right here. And I'll need two of those. over here and grab our Aspen shavings. Alrighty. 
and then we'll put a huge mound of hay for the girls. It's Kyle's favorite thing in the world to actually burrow. So I'm sure she's gonna go right inside of here, never to be seen again. She's thinking about it. She's like, how do I get in there? Nope, there she goes. <laughs> it's her favorite thing to do. Hmm. I think I'm actually going to, I'm gonna add a, maybe I should do yellow actually. I'm gonna add a yellow two by three right over here. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and put their house back over there. I'm gonna have to do this one actually. Yeah, right there. We'll do their bridge right here. I think we're actually gonna do a another green mat right in front of the hay box just for all the hay that falls out beautiful and then we'll grab our mega hot pink pig mat put it right there hmm Do this. Oh, this has some poop in it. Put this inside of here. Just like that. And then I actually have their pig glue. And I'm gonna put that actually right over here. That's a cute spot. And then we'll put in their toys. And I give them lots of toys for them to play with so they're nice and enriched. Then I just need to go ahead and wipe this down because it's looking a little, a little dirty. So if you guys do have these bunk beds, it's super important to make sure that you go ahead and wipe them down whenever they get dirty. They are very well loved amongst basically the entire guinea pig community. Like I've never met one piggy that does not like them. So more than likely they're going to be sleeping in them a ton, which means they're going to be peeing and pooping a lot. So making sure that they're clean is super important. So just wiping these off, all the pee and the poops. There we go, much better. And I actually don't have a small mat to go under there. So I'm actually gonna do the tropical blue. That actually might look really good. So I'll fold that in half and I'll put that in here and tuck this. And that almost becomes like a little pillow for them to rest on. That's like my favorite thing to do. And I'll just put that just right there. I think I wanna move this over. Beautiful. Alrighty, so that is the herd's cage, nice and clean. The colors going on right now, honestly my favorite so freaking good everything matches so well they have a clean litter box they've got their timothy tent oh my god kyle literally <laughs> already passed out i'm telling you guys the jumbo piggy bunk beds mixed with the pig mats the mini pig mats is the best combination ever as you guys can tell kyle is already loving it um we've got their toys their tunnels their pig glue their house such a good cage i love it um okay now we're gonna go ahead and just feed them their pellets with this big pellet dish right here I'm gonna need four of these that's two three and four and I like this dish because they can all kind of surround themselves around it and then eat wherever they please and of course Kyle's gonna get up for some food all I really need to do now is to go ahead and just clean up the floor take down the hamper um, and just pick up anything that I need to pick up. But I did just want to show you guys a real-time cage cleaning for my two cages. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos every single week. And until then, I hope you and your piggies are happy, safe, and healthy. Bye, guys!